Hey party people, it's Sean from RampantDesignTools.com and today, ooh to the wee, am I excited? Finally, after months of production, over 20 terabytes of raw files, hundreds of lenses, even more hundreds and hundreds of lights, we are now releasing Studio Flares. That's what I'm talking about, real 2K, 4K, and 5K lens flares. I'm not talking about CG, I'm not talking about plugins, I'm talking about light and glass, baby, you know, the way JJ would want it. Okay, so like I said, we're talking about real lens flares. This is a very unique approach to using flares. A lot of people like their plugins, and those plugins are awesome. This is an alternative to those in case you want to add something a little bit different, a little bit more unique to your shots. This stuff works great with motion graphics. It works great with live action. Uh, we've got center flares. We've got left and right flares. We've got all different kinds of flares. And the great thing is they're QuickTime based, so they work in every single editing and compositing program that reads QuickTime movies. All you gotta do is drag it from your bin to your timeline, switch to blending mode, and boom, Bob's your uncle, you're good to go. Before I get started, once again, I have to tell you, you do not need Adobe Premiere Pro to use these files. Our QuickTime movies work in every single editor and compositor on the planet as long as it can read QuickTime movies. That being said, Adobe Premiere Pro is my editor of choice. I love to love to love it. So that's what I'm gonna do this tutorial in today. I know Final Cut Steph is recording right now just in the other room, doing stuff in uh, Final Cut Pro X. So, uh, if you're into Final Cut, you can watch her tutorial. If uh, we don't use software that you want to see, hit me up and uh, we'll find someone who will do a tutorial in that software. All right, so check it out. We're doing studio flares today. How you can use flares to stylize your edit. Before we get uh, cracking here, let me jump into rampantdesigntools.com. Go to the studio flares page right up here. Scroll all the way down past all this goodness. Read this when you get a chance, blah, blah, blah. Boom, right here, download. That's right, I'm giving you a handful of free 4K flares. That's right, free 4K. Not HD, not 2K, straight up 4K goodness. Just click this button, it will download, and you can follow along with us using the flares with your own footage. You can also click right here, and you can get a preview sheet of all the flares that are in this library. There's over 500 of them. There's actually 531 flares plus like 30 bonus one f bonus flares or something like that. So you're talking about like somewhere around 560 flares that are 2K, 4K, or 5K in this library. So if you want to check out to see exactly what you're going to get, click on this bad boy right here and uh, you can peruse the file if you will. All right, back to Premiere Pro. Boom. Okay, so you've seen some of the clips in action. I'm just going to show you real quick what we're going to do here. We've got some uh, sports motion graphics. See, boom, lens flare goodness on top of sports motion graphics. We've got some fashion footage that some lens flares look great over. We've got some musician footage, some rock music footage, also flares rocking over it. We've got some SWAT footage here with flares. Oh yeah, can't go wrong with guns and flares, you know what I'm saying? And then the last shot we're gonna show you is how to change the color of a flare to match your scene. All right, so cool. Let's um, scroll over here to our raw footage. Let's start with some motion graphic stuff, shall we? All right, so I've got a handful of the flares that are available in our library, but again, I need to remind you, there are over 500 to choose from. All right. So I'm gonna use this flare right here. Look at that, that's beautiful. Okay. So we're in a 1080p timeline and I'm using 4K flares. And you're gonna ask me, well, why use 4K? Here's why, and I'll show you exactly why. Drag this clip over your timeline, over your footage, and of course, you can't see past the flare because you need to ch change the blend mode. So double click on the file, click on effect controls, twirl down opacity, switch it from normal to screen, and booyah, you're done. Okay, so now check it out. We're gonna push this clip back so you can see more of the flare here. There we go. Now check it out, this is a 1080 shot. My flare is 4K, so right now the flare is 4K size. It's over 4,000 pixels wide. So I have the ability to go up here to motion and scale it down if I want. Till around, you know, 50. So cool, I can have a smaller flare. Or I can go back to 100% and I can repo the footage because I have all of this 4K goodness. So in reality, each flare are many flares and gives you a ton of possibilities if you're working in HD. All right. I'm gonna keep it this way, just to show you how simple it is. Boom. And then we're gonna go ahead and chop that at the end of the, at the, end of the sequence there, and boom. See, there you go. Well, that didn't take long to put a flare in a shot. Let me try this again here. I'm gonna uh, use this clip right here. Yeah, 
yeah, see, I love that. A little bit of flareage, love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this once again from our bin to our timeline, and boom. Now, just like all of our other tutorials, I can double click, go to effects controls, twirl down opacity, switch it from normal to screen or any other blend mode that I'm feeling at the time, but I'm gonna switch to screen, which is gonna let me show you the footage beneath it. But I don't wanna do that every single time. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo. So now I can't see anything beneath the flare or through the flare. I'm gonna go back up to the first flare that we did, double click it, click on effects controls, highlight opacity and copy. Then go back to our second flare that we had just dropped into the timeline and hit paste. Boom, there you go. And I'm gonna just cinch this up right here until I get some kind of cool factor there. see so let's roll back between the two sports motion graphics there you go now you have real flares over motion graphics that's pretty cool moving on we have this cool little sequence oh that's like fashion sequence you know it, you know maybe it's fashion week or some kind of a makeup commercial who knows who knows what's going on I want to show you how you can take one flare and put it over an entire sequence and it actually works so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this clip right here with all this beautiness right here and I'm gonna go ahead and drag it right over the, the timeline once again, you can't see through it, but I'm going to highlight and hit paste because it remembers our opacity settings from the previous clip. And I'm just going to dial this way back here real quick. I'm going to back time this shot because I really want the majority of that flare to be in the shot. There we go. And then I'll cinch it up to the edit. Hit space bar. Boom. And see now, this is because this is such a big file, because it's such a large format, I can double click. I can go effect controls, motion, and I can pull this down because we don't necessarily want to cover the girl's face like that. It's not like laser beams coming out of her eyes. You're not, Pshoo! you know, that's a different show. So we just pull this down a little bit like that and roll it back. See, there you go. Subtle, but beautiful and real. A very different take on lens flares. This is not going to look like what you're used to seeing from the plugin guys. This is a great co uh, compliment to what they're doing. So if you want to mix and match or if you want to throw uh, real flares on top of motion graphics or real flares on top of real footage. Yeah, it's a it's a, a wonderful thing to do Let me show you real quick before I go any further uh, A big fan of ours and we're a huge fan of him um, Brady Betzel from uh, all bets are off on Twitter He did a quick test just ran out just grabbed the flares ran out shot a bunch of footage and then uh, put it together And I just want to show you how awesome it looks on real footage and this is It doesn't get any cooler than this I mean, Super stoked that he did this for us. Can't thank you enough there, Brady. All right, so this is Brady Betzel shooting. He put rampant flares over real footage, and it just works. It looks stunning, it looks great, and it looks like it was meant to be. Love it. So once again, that's at, uh, he's at All Bets Are Off on Twitter. You can check out the watermark right there. Hit him up on Twitter, tell him what you think. I'm really stoked that he did this. I can't thank you enough, Brady. You rock. I definitely owe you a uh, coffee or beer or both, or coffee beer or, or something of the like. Love that, love that, love how we dip that back, uh, just amazing. Okay, so back to Premiere. All right, so we've got this cool like bass player, musician thing going on, this kind of rock video. Now the first thing I'm gonna say is this dude straight up scares me. Straight up just gives me the heebie-jeebies. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop a flare on him to kind of, you know, take him down the skirt just a little bit. So I'm gonna take this file right here, and once again I'm gonna hit paste so we can see through it. And I'm gonna dial this all the way back until you see a lot of this pink kind of color. There we go. Yeah, that that nice bleed. I'm gonna dial it back in. Yeah. See that was just that just rocks. It just screams rock. You know what I'm saying? And you can also double click on it, hit effects controls, twirl down motion, and hit scale if you want it to be smaller and get more of that color in there. There we go. Or if you're not happy with uh, the small flare, if you want it to be big and chunky, you can also repo. Go right over his eyes, take him a little less scary, go right over his crazy mouth, whatever. Go over the microphone, yeah, yeah, whatever. But the point is, it's super simple and super fast rendering. There's no heavy renders involved. Um, this particular machine that I'm using for the tutorials is a very old machine. It's an, uh, an iMac that's probably about six years old and I'm pushing 4K on top of HD. So that tells you how, uh, how lightweight 4K um, QuickTime movies are. They're not taxing on your on your machine. We do have much beefier machines in the studio like Mac Pros, but those are all busy debayering, so uh, not doing tutorials on those. Uh, I debayer forever. Um, all right, so that's cool. I'm gonna go back to this first shot, and I'm, this bass player shot is really cool. 
cool shot there. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add this clip right here. I love this little reflection action here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna start here maybe, yeah, something like that. Pull it down, hit paste, and then just cinch up the edit, roll it back. See, that right there just instantly stylizes this shot. It goes from a, a pretty cool stock shot to a shot that could be in a music video. And I was going to show you how to change the color in a different shot, and I'll do that again, but I just want to show you quickly, if you double click on this, on this flare, go over to Effects, twirl down color correction right here. I'm going to use Color Balance HLS. There's a million ways you can color correct footage. Use your favorite way, but I'm going to show you how quickly you can use Color Balance HLS to change the color of this flare. Double click on it to apply it to the flare. Double click on the flare to go to effects controls, and you'll see Color Balance HLS here in the effect controls panel. Now, the first thing I typically do when I'm changing the colors of these flares is I'm going to dial back the saturation just a little bit. So let's put me around, I don't know, minus 43. It's, it's an arbitrary number. You don't have to do minus 43. And then all, what I'll do is I'll start shifting the hue, just to see what I like. I've got some purples, got some reds, it's kind of neat. Ooh, that yellow-green is kind of cool. That means we're getting towards a green. Uh, yeah, I like that, that's, that's cool. And you can pull the lightness down if it's a little too much, if, it, if you want it just a hint, or if you want to, you know, you want to punch it, whatever you want to do. But see, now you can dial it back, and boom, now you have a green flare. I'm not necessarily feeling the green flare. I just wanted to show you real quick. You can do like that crazy uh, monochromatic flare that you see a lot in music videos. Dial it back, dial the saturation back almost to 100. Yeah, we're too cool to have color flares. Boom, you know. I'm gonna go ahead and erase this because I like the, the blue, it's my favorite color. Boom, all right. Yeah, cool, all right. Now on to the, the guns, cops, SWAT, violence and weapons shots. All right, can't go wrong with shots like these. These are always great in promos, of course a little bit of speed ramp action. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull up this flare over here in our bin. So I'm going to use this flare right over here. So you've got this cool blast of light here on the side of the frame and these nice little streakies. I'm going to go ahead and bring this over and hit paste once again so you can see through the shot. And as you can see, just natively, right there, that looks kind of neat. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Now remember, these are 4K files on an HD timeline, so I can hit effects controls, twirl down motion, and I can repo the shot if I want it to be like a lower third flare. Or I can do the opposite and pull it all the way up. Boom. Or I can shrink it down if I want a little bit... Uh, thinner flare there. So I'm loving this. Roll it back, hit play. Boom. Loving that. Loving that. Okay. Now we're followed up by this cool shot right here. So let's find a, a nice flare to put in this bad boy here. And I think I'm going to use uh, clip 21 here. Yeah, I like this. You got some nice reflections, you got a nice glow effect here on the on the frame. I'm loving this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start it somewhere around here and end it somewhere around here. Just grabbing it and dial it back. And remember, once again, you can't see through the flare, so I'm going to hit paste and roll through here. Now check it out, because this is a 4K flare, you're getting more of the glowy flare aspect. You're not getting the streakies here. So that's another cool effect. You're getting almost an edge light. You're getting the, you're getting a whole new tonality added to this shot. If I turn this shot off here, that's a significant difference to the shot right there. All by just dragging a quick time. But I kind of want to see more of the flare itself. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on it. Go to effects controls, twirl down motion, and I'm going to hit the scale. All right. That was pretty cool. Boom. All right, I'm happy with that. And then of course, the very last shot that I was gonna show you originally, uh, the shopping shot. I'm gonna use this clip right here. It's got this nice purples and blues and all these nice little reflections going on. I'm gonna go ahead and drag it over here. Hit paste, so it copies the opacity. And 
That's pretty cool. I'll probably dial it back just a little bit to get more of it in the shot, maybe. See where that takes us. All right, that's cool. Maybe a little much. So let's pull it back here so it's not completely uh, taking over the shot. All right, so that's cool. So let's say you're happy with that flare, but you want it to be a little bit better blended in, and you want it to match your scenes. There's not a, there's not a, a need for this big, you know, sci-fi color. No problem. Just like we did before. Double click on the on the clip. Go to effects. I'm going to use Color Balance HLS. You can use any of the color correction tools that you like to use. Double click on it. Go to Effects Controls. There's Color Balance HLS there. And like I said before, I always typically pull down the saturation just a little bit. See, now we're getting more of just the actual flare. And then I'm going to adjust the hue here. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do a little bit of a, a yellowish hue. Roll it back. And maybe dial back the lighting, the lightness a little bit. Yeah, that's cool. So there you go. Just like with all of our other products, if you can use it once, you can use it a thousand times. You literally just grab it from the bin, drag it over your timeline, switch the blending mode, and Bob is your uncle. You're good to go. You're ready to hit and run. So that's about it with lens flares. It's that simple. I just want to show you one more thing real quick. This volume, as well as all of our volumes, comes with a PDF preview sheet. So don't get overwhelmed when I'm telling you you've got 500 flares to choose from. Go ahead and download that preview sheet. You can scroll through and see an example of every single kind of flare that is offered in this volume. And trust me, there are a lot. So awesome. As a matter of fact, as soon as I'm done with this tutorial, I'm going to go play with these flares. So anyway, go back to the website. Download the free flares. Tell us what you think. Leave a comment in, the, in this video. Leave a comment in the on the page, do whatever, send me an email, send me a fax, send me, you know, whatever, whatever, just hit us up. We always like to hear from everybody and see what people are thinking. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or tutorial requests, go ahead and hit us up on Twitter at Rampant Design, or check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash rampant media. And of course, you can find more tutorials at rampantdesigntools.com. Until next time, I'm Sean Mullen for Rampant Design. Thanks for watching.